the exponential model, a equals 593.9 times e to the 0.002t, describes the population a of a country in millions, t years after 2003. So let's go ahead and, and write that formula down. So a is equal to 593.9, and then it's e to the 0.002t. And this tells us the population of a country t years after 2003. So if we plug in zero, it's zero years after 2003. So if you plug in zero, you actually get the population in 2003. If you plug in one, you get the population in 2004. If you plug in two, you get the population in 2005, etc. Use the model to determine when the population of the country will be 613. Okay, so we want the population to be 613. Well, this entire thing is the population, so we just set this equal to 613. And then we just have to solve for t. All right, so I guess we can divide by this piece here, because it's being multiplied. So this is 593.9. So we end up with e to the point zero zero two t and it's equal to this fraction and I'm gonna leave it as a fraction for now so 613 over 593.9 okay so we have to get rid of the e so what we can do is we can take the natural log of both sides so ln of e to the point zero zero two t equals ln, and then we have this, this fraction here, 613 over 593.9. And what happens is that the ln and the e cancel, so you just get 0 0.002t equals the natural log of 613 over 593.9. And this is an important rule from, from math. Uh, it's ln e to the x is x. Whenever you have the natural log of e to the x, you just get x. It's like the ln and the e cancel, and so you just get, you just get the exponent. That's how you get rid of exponentials like that. Almost done. We just have to divide by 0 0.002. So divide by 0 0.002. Divide by 0 0.002. So t is going to be equal to the natural log of 613 over 593.9 and all of that is divided by 0 0.002 so I'm going to put this in my calculator and round to the nearest year now this this will not be the answer this is just going to be t so we still have one more step after this let's see 613 divided by 593.9 and then divide all of that by 0 0.002 Okay, I got 15.8, it says round to the nearest year, so I'm gonna say 16. So, uh, it's 16 years after 2003. So that would be 2019, so the answer should be 2019. Let's try it, moment of truth. <laughs> I have not done this problem yet, so this will be interesting, and I'm gonna press it, there it is. Yes, got it right, all right, so good stuff. I hope this video has been helpful.